Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Katrina Renee. Today's video is going to be how we package our rum runners and uh, prepare them for the cruise. I chose the Appleton Estate Rum, the signature blend. It is one of my favorite rums and one of my um, favorite drinks of choice. We also went with a different uh, rum runner flask this time around. We did the black and white label. I did order them through Amazon. Um, they're the 32 ounces and they come in a pack of three. They do have a resellable serrated lid or I'm sorry, cap on the top. You just twist it off and when you twist it back, it goes right back into place. It also comes with a silicone funnel for your liquor, which um, I found the silicone funnel made it a lot easier to pour my liquor in versus a hard plastic one. Um, so to get started, literally all I did is twist that cap off. Don't worry about it not being resealable because it will latch back again. Put my um, silicone funnel in, opened up my rum, and got to pour it. Now it was kind of hard because I was holding the flask in one hand and the rum in another hand. So, and the rum in another hand, it was really heavy, but it was... Um, for some reason that silicone uh, funnel made it a lot easier for me just to keep going and just keep pushing through. Now you don't want to fill the rum runner up to the very top because you want to prevent as many air bubbles as you possibly can. So I'm going to stop here and you'll see how much space I have from the top of the bag to where I stopped the liquor at. And there's a lot of little air bubbles in there now. What we're going to do is push all those air bubbles out as many as, as much as you possibly can. And that's what I'm doing now, pushing as many of those air bubbles out as possible. And once I have as many poured out as I possibly can get out, then I will recap and reseal the flask. Um, and that one is complete. Um, literally took no time you can see that the majority of my bubbles are gone it's pretty much um, smooth and I'm gonna go to the next one but in this one I'm gonna show y'all that it's really flat at the bottom you have to put some air in there to blow it out so that you can um, get as much rum in there as possible um, so yeah that's what I'm doing now just pouring it in there Now that that's done, I resealed that and I moved to the third one. I didn't have as much rum left in that, so I didn't fill it up all the way, which made it easy to get the bubbles out. And I resealed that as well, added it to the pack. And now from this point on, I'm gonna show y'all how we package it. I do double package my rum runner flasks. Um, I typically package in plastic wrap and then from the plastic wrap I put it in like a grocery store bag or something that prevents leaks onto my clothes or my shoes or anything that may be in my luggage because I am going to pack this in my luggage with all of my clothes um so yeah here I'm just putting it in the bag and I'm just going to go really fast twirl so this is the bag that I'm going to take to pack all my clothes in. What I do is open up the lining of my bag and in the space that you see here is where I will put my rum runners that have been packaged and concealed. I typically like to take an item or a piece of clothing. So here I'm going to take this t-shirt dress and I'm going to wrap the rum runner that I've already packaged up in the clothes. So I lay out the dress or the item that I'm going to use and I do like a sandwich fold on it on both sides. Then I roll it from the bottom and then I just do like, I like to call it the college tuck. Um, and I just roll it up and um, I stick it in the corner of the lining um, of my bag. Now I'm going to move on to the second set and I'm going to put it in this black shirt. I don't know if darker colors matter or not on when you use it um, or to package up your rum runners, but what I am going to do is I'm going to take the, um, I had three flasks full of liquor. Two of them were completely full. One of them was not full all the way. So I'm going to take the one that's completely full and one that's not all the way in my luggage. And then I'm going to give Charles the other one that is completely full to maximize our chances of getting our liquor on board. Um, now I am just zipping everything back up and smoothing it out and I'm going to repack all my clothes on top. I always try to make sure I do a tight pack. Um, it doesn't look super neat, but it's neat enough. Um, and the reason that I do a tight pack is because if it's packed tight enough, they the chance of them going through your, your neatly packed or, um, clothes is just, I don't know, to me it's slim to none, although I am this is just my second go around. Uh, it's just best to pack it as tight as you possibly can. Um, so that's what I'm doing now. Another thing that I suggest doing is something that I've done here. Um, I will make sure that I grab creams or liquids um, that would normally be in like my, um, gosh, one of my bags and I put it on top of the areas where my rum runners are. And the reason I do that is because 
if they do detect liquid in your bag and they open it up and they see those creams or liquid, um, then they'll they'll more than likely just look over and say, oh, we found the prop, the, um, the area of where it was. So I hope that y'all enjoyed this particular run runner video. If you want to see if we were successful at putting or getting the run runners on the ship, stay tuned. That video will be up next. Um, again, thank you all for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. If you're going on a cruise, enjoy. In the meantime, in between time, till the next time. Bye! Thank you.